Hey, what's up guys? Young Bucks, Old Goats, episode 41. Thanks for joining me. Uh, I'm going to be wearing a mask just to respect all the uh, recommendations out there for uh, COVID-19. And no, actually this is a uh, helmet from... Let me get that off. This is actually uh, something from manofactionfigures.com, the sponsor of the show, which is also my company. And uh, it is obviously the Mandalorian helmet. And uh, the coolest part about this helmet is that it's actually made in the uh, USA. They made it in USA during the pandemic. It's a company called Anovos. So let's try to put this down here without damaging it. Um, so, super cool. They have that in stock at manofactionfigures.com. We'll leave that there. Awesome. Love that show. Um, just want to do tonight kind of like a current events thing. Um, I always take notes during the week. And then if I don't get an episode out soon enough, some of these notes go stale. So, uh, just want to go over some stuff that's been going on. Upcoming stuff. And if I do a little bit of old news, sorry. It's new to me or new to the show. So I do want to touch on it. I want to talk about the DMX versus Snoop that I saw tonight a little bit. That that was fucking awesome. Lots of fun. Brought back a lot of great memories. Talk a little bit about baseball that's coming up. We're going to talk a little bit about Ghislaine Maxwell, who, again, a little something happened there with the case or revolving around the case, which was our last episode. So I wanted to touch on that real quick. A uh, little bit of football stuff that's going on. And uh, that's pretty much it. So let, let's get into it. Cheers. First thing, I just saw it fresh, fresh out the box. Uh, the Versus on Instagram, which uh, I don't know if you guys seen any of them. Um, this is, uh, it was DMX versus Snoop. Um, what was the other one that I saw? Um... The guy from Wu Tang and uh, Premier. That one was more like a like a DJ. They were each in their own uh, places. Uh, this one was cool because they were in Snoop's house, so they were both together. They were playing their music and then they were rapping. And um, man, it was fun. Uh, you forget all the hits that those guys had, especially Snoop. Like I know they both had a ton of hits, but Snoop's been like featured on a ton of other people's work. Uh, he pulled out a couple of the cheat codes, playing you know songs with people who passed away like Nate Dogg and uh, Tupac and stuff and he even got in on a bunch of DMX's song I don't, I don't know who won or lost but you know hip-hop and the people won because it was fun uh, just really brought me back um, and man Snoop what an entertainer that guy he's just a showman entertainer he took charge of the whole thing he was kind of running the whole thing at the end, with the freestyle, you know, great freestyler. Fun, man. If you, if you get a chance to see it, check it out. If you like hip-hop, um, it was awesome. Uh, fun natured, you know, it's supposed to be a battle, but, you know, they, they just had a blast, you know. They, they were uh, singing each other's songs and everything, so uh, it looked like DMX was running a little bit out of gas at the end, but, man, Snoop's full of energy. I mean, they took a break, and he... Perform, he performed during the break. Um, so, fun. Check it out if you can. Versus uh, DMX versus Snoop. What else we got? Um, baseball's coming back tomorrow. Uh, so, you're going to have two games on the slate for opening day tomorrow. 7 p.m., you're going to have the Dodgers at the defending champion Nationals. Uh, sorry. Fuck that up. That's Yankees at Nationals, if I'm not mistaken. Let me fact check myself because I think the 10 p.m. game is uh, Dodgers at uh, Giants versus Dodgers. Let's fact check that. Yankees versus Astros. No. I will talk about the Astros in a minute. I believe it's Yankees versus Nationals. Yeah, that's the opening game, 7 o'clock ESPN. Uh, I believe the other game may be on ESPN 2, Giants, Dodgers. Uh, three Astros got beamed yesterday, which was pretty cool. You know, I'm sure you've heard about the cheating scandal. None of the players got any punishment on the uh, 
cheating scandal where they were banging on the garbage bags, uh, garbage cans in the dugout so the players would know what pitches were coming. Yeah, some higher-ups like the GM and the manager got suspended and fired, but no players. So there's going to be a little bit uh, justice, vigilante justice, if you will, going to be served by the players. So three of them got beamed yesterday. Uh, Altuve, Bergman, and Springer. It was a Royal Spring training game. George Lopez and Jackson Kowar were the people. I saw the pitches. Two of them, the two back-to-back, they were with the bases loaded, so that's not ideal usually when you're going to bean somebody. And they kind of looked like they just got away from the pitcher, so I'm not sure if those were intentional. I'm happy about it, though. Um... And, man, it's got to suck to be an Astro right now, going up to the plate with these beasts, throwing that hard-ass baseball, you know, sometimes upwards to 100 miles an hour, and you got it in the back of your head. This guy wants to bean me, you know. They want to hurt me for what we did. Um, I can't imagine them having a good year. But, you know, it's a 60-game season, so anything can happen. Even for the Marlins, something can happen. Who knows? You know, anybody can get hot for 60 games. It's just a little little part of the season. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Um, so ha- happy we got some baseball back and uh, some other sports to follow soon. NBA, end of the month. Um, NFL, I think, just canceled their preseason games. Sorry if I'm wrong about that, but I think I, I heard that. So, you know, hopefully we'll, we'll get that um, started in time. Um, and then Friday you'll get like a more full slate of uh, full slate of games for baseball. Um, let me keep on with sports a little bit. And this is a little bit of old new older news, but, you know, again, it's new to the show. And I always, whenever I can kick the Patriots while they're down, or they're not really down, well, yeah, they're kind of down, I will, so, Antonio Brown retired, okay, thanks, dude, like, you were probably never, not probably, you were never going to play again anyway, so, you know, thanks for officially retiring, Uh, speaking of retired receivers, who could probably still play, also fits in that mode, Terrell Owens, man, I mean, I know that that guy is like a workout, stay in shape guy, but, you know, he uh, he held his own in some races with Tyreek Hill. I'm not sure if that was a couple days ago, but I, I saw the video recently. Obviously, he didn't beat him because that guy is just blazing fast, but he didn't really get blown away, and he looked like he was in good shape. Um, so uh, that that was interesting. Check that out if you can. Um, I haven't talked about this, and and again, older news, but God damn it, how how do the Patriots, uh, I can't even say how do the Patriots, how does the rest of the league not sign Cam Newton, just so they can't, you know, just do like a little cock blocking, you know, all right, dude, we really don't want the Patriots to get that, I mean, you could... You could say they have improved their position at that position. I mean, it's the only team to have ever lost an MVP quarterback one season and replace them with a, you know, lost a former MVP and replace them with a former MVP. He may be MVP this year, Cam. You know, that that's just crazy that they've they've laid out the red carpet for them to do that. Um A little more Patriots news, which, again, on the older tip, but I got to touch on it. Tip and touch on it. What the fuck is that? We'll strike that from the record. Old news, I want to touch on it. Uh, really light punishment, but it was expected for the uh, Spygate 2 scandal. I don't know if you guys heard about this. Um, they f- lose a draft pick. What draft pick did they lose? And they got fined $1 million, um, which equates to nothing. 
really. They don't draft that well anyways. And a million dollars, you know, for a little cheating, uh, they don't mind paying it. Third round 2021 draft pick, $1.1 million. That's like nothing. Um, oh, and, and they're not going to be allowed to shoot video for 2020. How about forever? How about no video forever? You've already two times. We can't trust you with cameras. Forever. How about that? Uh, last bit of Patriot news here. Massage Gate. It was three weeks ago. They arraigned. Uh, they adjourned for one week after meeting to see if they would suppress video evidence of Mr. Kraft getting his happy ending massages. Um, but nothing's happened since then. They, they were going to supposed to two weeks ago. They were supposed to come up with a, a verdict on that. Uh, Palm Beach, crazy shit happens in Palm Beach. Kraft and his massages. Epstein. This thing was a year and a half ago already. Before that epic uh, Chiefs. Patriots playoff game uh, is is when this all went down. So it's been a while. Um, I don't know what's going on, um, but it's it's still it's still there in limbo. Not not exactly going away, but uh, not exactly being resolved. Uh, I did miss one thing in baseball that was kind of interesting: the Toronto Blue Jays. They don't have a home right now. Canada has said no to sports. So they're trying to find a place to play their games. I heard Baltimore, uh, which the Orioles didn't have a lot of home games, coinciding with their home games, I think, in the month of September. Dunedin, where uh, they have a minor league team, which there's no minor league baseball this year. Uh, PNC or multiple places was another option but i think they're kind of running out of options and time so um we'll see what happens with that um i'll have another episode just on this because it was kind of like a big he was a big deal when we were coming up and uh it's a big thing in the hispanic community walter mercado and they had that netflix uh special uh for him which was called um i think walter the legend of walter mercado mucho mucho amor um it was fun to watch that it was uh kind of uh nostalgic um but I'm not going to get into that too much. I'll do another show just on that Netflix show because I'm kind of getting into that, watching uh, shows like the 30 for 30s and then and then reviewing them. Um, so, yeah, it's called Walter Mercado uh, Mucho Mucho Amor. Okay, and lastly for today, quick hitter show today, uh, Ghislaine Maxwell. Not necessarily her in the news again, but a couple of days ago, a judge that was uh, presiding over a case from a uh, class action lawsuit from a Dutch bank on behalf of investors who were not monitoring high-risk customers. So the bank is being charged or alleged to not monitor high-risk customers, which one of them was Jeffrey Epstein. So it's a, I don't want to say it's a loose connection. It's its kind of a direct connection. So the, the judge's son got killed by a guy posing as a FedEx driver. Her husband got wounded as well. I'm sure you've heard about this in the news. Um, the guy was like an anti-feminist um lawyer who apparently had a case before her as well who later after doing the crime committed suicide so like just another side crazy ass piece to to this saga that that seems to never end uh just crazy we'll we'll see where that goes uh speaking of crazy one last note i had kanye west's rally 
I don't know if any of you guys saw that. Uh, the guy, he's really has a mental problem. You know, and I'm not saying this as a joke. It's like there's they're seriously, they've said he has bipolar, um, that he's bipolar. Um, they got to rein that guy in, you know, that something some bad's going to happen um, if they don't. Um, so what do you think? Do you guys think Cam Newton's going to be MVP this year with the, uh, with the Patriots? Is more crazy shit going to happen with the Ghislaine Maxwell, Jeffrey Epstein saga? Did you see DMX versus Snoop? Who won? I think we all won, but you know, I, I probably got to give it to Snoop, but like a lot of people were, were saying he's going to crush him and you know, DMX has some hits too, man. Uh, he could still growl like a dog too um so that's it that's all i got for this one guys all right i'll see you next time